so the the war on cancer started officially, I guess, some 50 years ago. Uh, people have been raising money for the cure for probably much longer than that. Mm -hmm. Has there been any progress? Uh, <laughs> no. As you probably know, right. the Cancer Society, they've been at it over 80 years. Mm -hmm. They've spent billions and billions of dollars looking mm -hmm. for the cure. Uh, they won't admit that there are cures that there are natural cures. Mm -hmm. And so they'll go after allopathic doctors, naturopathic doctors, trying to destroy them, uh, try, the whole cancer industry. And they're all in partnership with each other. Mm -hmm. The petrochemical pharmaceutical industry, they might as well be the Cancer Society because they're, you know this. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, no, of course not. There's they're not going to admit to a cure. They still do the same three things they've been doing since the 1930s, surgery, chemotherapy, mm -hmm. and radiation. Mm -hmm. And then every once in a while, like they did uh, three days ago in the LA Times, they announced a oh, breakthrough with cancer, mm -hmm. cancer treatment. I don't know if you saw it. But I thought, oh yeah, October's coming. That's when they have to announce a breakthrough or mm -hmm. two. So people can think, oh, okay, they're making progress after all these many gajillion years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we should donate. Good going. I don't know how they think that their $10 or $20 added on to the billions that they've already spent mm -hmm. is going to do any good. Yeah. And then, of course, their biomedical research to look for cures is animal experimentation. People don't know that. Mm -hmm. So they torture animals in their laboratories knowing they can't extrapolate any of those experiments on animals to people because of differences in physiology, metabolism, genetics, biochemistry, environment. Mm -hmm. It's not science. Yeah. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So, but they keep doing it because they don't want a cure. Why would they?